tough first round, right? Coming off the mat there, uh, overtime win. Uh, you know, this is it. This is the, the last weekend of wrestling competitively for Bo Jordan, most likely. Coming out win the tough first one, man. What's it mean to, 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 to get that one, get the win in overtime? Yeah, it, means, it means a lot. You know, I have a, a lot of goals and, and things I want to do, and they haven't worked out yet. And I think, you know, I'm thinking a little bit too much about that and not about just wrestling really hard. You know, I feel I wanted to come into college win four national titles and haven't got one yet, you know, and now I'm a sixth seed and coming into the turn. So it just kind of feels like I'm kind of wrestling a little more for that. So I had to, had to get my head straight, but we got a while before tonight. We got a while before my next match. Um, yeah, I found a way to get it done. It was really tough. I feel like nothing was working out there. Everything just, you know, nothing felt good, but regardless of how I feel and, you know, what's going on, I got to, I got to bring the right fight. Like I, like I did in, in past matches, like I have it in past matches too. So um, yeah, just excited for my next match and get focused on what I need to do right. Walk us through the takedown at the end that won it for you. Uh, yeah, I mean, he was coming out of front headlock. I did one of my double legs and, uh, you know, got it nice and deep and then ran him down. So. Did you know, I mean, he was better than your, probably your typical first round opponent, right? Yeah, he was, he was better than my typical first round opponent, but uh, yeah, that's not that's not my best method. I'll take anything away from him, you know, but uh, yeah, I got to make some adjustments for tonight. And what was Coach Ryan saying to you after the match? <laughs> Um, he was just saying, you know, like what happened out there because they know that wasn't exactly my best match. Didn't wrestle the way I could. And, uh, you know, I just kind of told him what I was feeling, and what I thought was happening. And, uh, you know, it's, it's different when you step back, you see it from the coach's point of view than what you're actually doing out there, you know. Because in my mind, I was working really hard. I just, nothing felt right. His eyes wasn't working very hard, you know, just kind of standing there. So it was good to have a coaches like we do, they kind of, him and Travell, you know, tell me true tellers. and. Uh, you know, they're still happy. You know, a lot of people go down first round sometimes, you know, and one, number ones go down first round sometimes. So, uh, yeah, just, just excited to make adjustments. It's my last time here. This is my last shot, you know, and whether, you know, I, I, I win it, whether I don't place, I want to walk out of this arena knowing that uh, I left my best stuff out there. And that wasn't it. So, um, you know, luckily I got another match to redeem myself and keep going. So uh, that wasn't it. But I want to wanna walk off, I want to walk out of here on, Whatever time I do, whether it's you know I go one and two or whether I can whether I win the thing, I want to walk out of here for my last match, my wrestling career, knowing that uh, I had no fear and I just went out there and got after it, whether I win or lose. And how big was this win for you know the team? Uh, you guys going for first place in the team league? Yeah, it was it was big. I mean, if I would have gone down, it would have been uh, you know they're expecting a lot of points out of me, they're expecting me to be able to perform and and, and do well, you know. So uh, if I would have went down first round, that would have been pretty bad for for the team, you know. So. Uh, but yeah, so just keep moving on. I've wrestled bad, bad matches here in the past. You know, last year at Big Tens, I was in a heater first match, won I think 11 to nine. I was down seven to two. Last year in the quarters here, I was getting beat like seven to three by Alex Meyer. Came back and won that one. Then I made it to the finals. You know, so down by Robuto. You know, like I think seven to two in the semis. So um, you know, I've wrestled bad matches and I've won. I've wrestled good matches and I haven't. But I want to wrestle good matches here now. And uh, so we'll see if I can do that tonight. All right, are the girls in the stands are the babies here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, two of them, uh, Kira and June are here, my oldest and my uh, youngest, and then uh, my wife's here too, family, and we have another on the way, so baby number three. You got another one on the way? Yeah, baby number three's on the way, found out the night after uh, Big Tens, my wife surprised me and wrote me a little note, said third's not that bad, and I was like, has he been 24 hours, can't joke around with that yet, and she's like, no, no, open it up, so I wrote the whole gift, and there were two pregnancy tests in there, both positive. We got a third kid, so uh, really exciting. Boy or girl, you know, you know that's the big don't know question. Yet. Yeah, don't know yet. <laughs> kind of hoping it's a boy, but uh, you know, my girls are snugglers, so it's nice. Javel always says that you know both his kids aren't really snugglers. They snuggle for like five, ten seconds and kind of shove them away. So uh, girls are nice. They want to snuggle, give hugs and kisses. But uh, yeah, so we'll just uh, yeah, we'll see. But excited for another 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 kid. Jeff Jordan couldn't have had girls. He told me. He couldn't have dealt yeah, with it. Yeah, I mean, he says he couldn't have had girls because he just had boys, you know. <laughs> <laughs> he had just enough chance as anyone else, but, yeah, Dad's funny. He's giving me all kinds of advice and stuff on how to have a boy. I've heard like, all about it. Yeah, so, uh, but no, really excited about that. You know, it's, that's kind of different than this stuff out here, you know. You get, you got from Big Tens, kind of disappointed, got third. You know, it was the first year I didn't make the finals. Got pinned by Miles Amin, and, uh, you know, get back, slow down the dumps a little bit, and then my wife told me she's pregnant, and we're going to have another, another kid. And, it's kind of eye-opening, you know. It shows what's really important. So, uh, yeah, it's just really, really refreshing. How much has it split your focus? It obviously has. 
for what is it? Having babies, having kids, yeah, being yeah, a dad. Just, it's put your focus, no question. Right? Yeah, I think for the better too. You know, our freshman year, I was, I think I was always thinking about wrestling no matter what, and hard to get my mind off of it. And um, when I go home, it's really easy to decompress. I got two kids running around, wanting to play hide and go seek or watch Mickey Mouse Clubhouse or me to chase them. You know, come in the door, they give me hugs, they're going out for practice, they give me hugs and kisses. And you know, last night, you know, the kids called and Kirsten, she misses me. It just, it's really eye opening, you know. You know, I have so much goals for myself and things I want to accomplish and things I might not, things I will and I have and it's just like, it's really cool, you know, it gives me perspective. You know, when I lose, I want to, I want to show my kids that I didn't throw a fit, that I didn't, you know, you know, pout or whatever, come off the mouth, my head held high, no matter win or lose or whatever happens this tournament, I just want to, whether I win or lose, go up in the stands right after, give them hugs and kisses, tell them I love them and uh, just show them, you know, the way I want them to act when, if they lose or when they win, you know, so, uh, it's a little bit more now than just me, so it's exciting. All right, man, I've been holding you up here a while. You got anything else for me? Go Bucks.